Hello. I'm going to show you how to collect instant feedback from students using a poll. And we know that feedback is an essential part of learning and teaching. And using an online tool called Poll Everywhere, faculty can easily and quickly collect instant feedback from participants on things like any challenging aspects of course content, in-class homework activities, or students' progress. This video will show you how to create and launch two types of questions using Poll Everywhere. So here's the questions I might ask. Do you have any questions about the readings or topics that are covered in class? Or I might want to ask if the pace of the course is too fast or too slow or just right. And this is what the question will look like to the students. And the students can respond by typing uh, on their phone. So let me show you how to first of all create a poll. First of all go to the uh, button called polls or you can click on the plus and click on the button that says create poll. You want to write your question here. I'm just going to uh, copy and paste that. and it uh, suggests that I make this an open-ended question. I can use a text wall and then click create. Now I can see a list of my polls here by clicking on the button polls and if I want I can move questions around for example um, Maybe I want to move this question here that I just that I created earlier into uh, into uh, this group. Okay. I want to um, administer the poll in a class. I want the students to ask answer this question. So I click on the question that I want them to respond to. I tell my students that they need to log in to uh, this website on their phone by typing the address pollev.com backslash Macau. Your address will be different. And then the most important thing is you click this button, push to activate. Now students can respond on their web browser, on their phone. Um, we'll just see an example here. This is, what it, this is what it looks like on the student's phone. And then the responses appear. In this poll they can only respond uh, one time. Note that only one poll can be activated at a time. I might want to um, hide the results so I can uh, click here and now the results are hidden from the students. This is uh, suitable if you're making a multiple choice question where you don't want them to see the answers until everybody's voted. Or maybe for some of the, the feedback questions you don't want them to see the answer. So I want to move to the next question so I click the, the button here, next poll. And again to activate the question I need to click this button push to mobiles and then students can enter a response here it's a short answer okay. so they can write on their phone here so that's how I create a poll and launch a poll in class with my students we can go back here at any time and see the, the list of polls and some of the, how many people have responded okay. Um, I hope that helps you get started setting up your polls and using polls in class to get feedback from your students.